What's going on guys, Tristan24 here and welcome back to another video on the channel and today's the return of predictions. That's right, I'm starting it back again. It's halfway through the season. Um, I didn't, at the start of the season I didn't think I would have enough time to do them but as we're in the lockdowns and that, I thought why not bring them back? You guys loved them towards the end of last season so we're going to do them again and starting off with match week 19 for the Premier League, we'll be doing Premier League and Championship, and hopefully it works out all well. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below, like the video if you are uh, enjoying it, and leave your predictions down below in the comments. So I'm filming this a little bit late, so if it goes up after 12.30, I'm not um, cheating with any scores, because it is actually like half 11 when I'm filming this, so uh, yeah, so I'm not going to cheat guys, I promise, just a bit of fun, and let's get straight into the video. So the first game, if you're wondering why I keep looking down, it's because I've got the predictions on my phone so I don't cheat. <laughs> like, um, not cheaters in a bad way, like cheaters in, don't switch my scores, you get me? So i got a record of what I put. So the first game is Wolves against West Brom. Now, West Brom, of course, they had Slavin Bilic, first half of the season. Now they have Sam Allardyce. Wolves, they've had a few injuries and they're not... I'm not too sure where they are on the table. Not been following Wolves that much. Um, I believe they're doing well though. I'm not too sure though. I'm not going to pretend think I know that because I'm not too sure. But for this one, I think West Brom are going to get something out of it. I'm going to go for a two-two draw. Next game we have West Ham against Burnley. Now Burnley, I knew they were struggling uh, start of the season. West Brom, West Ham, sorry, they were struggling last season, but they're doing really well this season. In my opinion. And that's why I'm going to go for a 2-0 West Ham win. The next game we've got is Leeds against Brighton. Now Leeds of course they got knocked out of the FA Cup. To Crawley. Burnley they haven't had the best of start. No not Burnley. Brighton they haven't had the best of starts to the season. However I do think Leeds will get back to winning ways this time. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win at Ellen Road. Next up is Fulham against Chelsea. Uh, Fulham, they're actually doing alright last few games. Chelsea, still trying to find their feet really. Some people saying that Frank Lampard isn't the right man to take them forward. We'll have to see about what happens with him. I'm going to go for a 4-1 Chelsea win. Next up then we have Leicester against Southampton. Two teams this season who are doing really well. Danny Ames of course, main man for Spurs and Jamie Vardy for Leicester. So we'll see who comes out on top in that one. They're just two solid sides really. Southampton, they've really turned it around the last couple of years. Uh, Leicester, they've made themselves steady contenders for the top four. Um, now after winning the league. So for this one, it's going to be a really tough game. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Alright, next up after that then we have Aston Villa, which Everton. But at the time recording it, it said that this game is postponed. Due to um, Aston Villa players testing positive. Um, yeah. N annoying to see for them fans. But it's the safest way forward. Next game then after that. We would see Sheffield United take on Spurs. Sheffield United have not had a good start to the season at all. Spurs, yeah. Really good start to the season. But they've slipped off in recent weeks. But this game, I can't see anything but a Spurs win. I'm going to go 4-0 to the away side. After that, we see Liverpool take on Man United. A game that's going to be played next week as well, I believe. The FA Cup on the 24th of January. Um, yeah, so I think that's next weekend anyway. But, yeah, so they'll be playing each other twice in two weeks. Um, but for this game, I actually think it's going to be a tough game. I'm going to go 2-2 draw. Um, Man United did really well so far this season. Liverpool, they're not reaching people's expectations, but they are up there, so... You gotta give it for, to them for that. After that, then we'll see Man City take on Crystal Palace, and this is always well, not always, but most of the time this is a high-scoring game, and I can see Man City getting a lot of goals here, four 0 to the home side. After that, then the final game is another FA Cup game that we had in the third round, Arsenal against Newcastle, and I'm gonna go for two 0 Arsenal win, just like last time. So hope you enjoyed that video guys, um, predictions are back, and I am back making prediction videos, I don't know what I was trying to say there, I thought it would be funny. Anyway, make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe down below if you are new, 
and comment your predictions and if you get them right you might get a shout out in the next video so good luck everyone no cheating and i'll see you next time bye bye